sojourn is this temporary stay. And I sort of thought about, you know, the role of the museum and how that operation works. Exhibitions are only here for a period of time and then they move on to the next venue. So it was me sort of providing you this window into my sort of world. It's always an object that sort of provokes the sort of beginning of an idea. You know, I don't sketch anything. It's really just through uh, an object that sort of provides me this sort of impulse, this sort of sensation of, of multiple ways in which I perhaps could read into it. So as you move through the exhibition, it's always one thing that sort of triggers my way of thinking and making it, thinking about shape, form, how it's going to be sort of developed. So this is me sort of inviting you to my playground. This particular sort of space sort of really opened up a, another way of thinking about space in relationship to the object. I knew that I wanted to create a wall with a texture of some sort and all sort of these white button pieces. The first sound suit, it's sort of like a vessel, so it's open at the top. The opening functions as this vessel that sort of absorbs and sort of fuels. And then as you move down this piece, the last piece that has the skeleton button structure, to me it's like being in a capsule, so I'm being transported. And this is the world in which we're being transported to. This comes out of thinking about my, my family and particularly my brothers. So this is what it was like being on the farm and looking up at the sky at night. The piece is constructed from found sequined and beaded garments that we've cut up and then pieced back together to really build and create this sort of otherly sort of world. I wanted to maintain this sort of found sort of objects, inspiration, and yet I wanted to also sort of open up a new vocabulary around another form of, of symbolism around an object such as here, the dog. And I think I found this poodle first at a flea market, and then I found that Doberman. And that's when I got excited because, I don't know, he just sort of had this majestic, strong image. And then I was like, I've got to find a gold sofa. So I started to then collect these dogs. They have to be sitting or reclining. And then started to look at 19th century painting and the role of dog within painting. And started to think about loyalty, protection, guardians, and wanted to then create these sort of otherly worlds, these sort of dens in which they sort of exist in. For me, this is just, let's say from my aunt's perspective, looking up at this sort of landscape. So again, creating this sort of um, alternative sort of world, this sort of space that uh, allows you to sort of, as you get closer to it, to really investigate and discover all of these sort of interesting findings. There's this sort of nostalgic sort of uh, elements, I think, throughout the work that really brings us back to this point of reference. Moments within our own lives that really are significant, I think, for, for a, lot of, a lot of us. And then behind each piece, there's a, an Afghan. And what I was thinking about there is that, you know, when you have a picnic and you just sort of throw this sort of blanket on the ground, but, you know, it's surrounded by this entire enormous landscape. But, so it becomes this sort of isolated sort of space. You know, with the sounds, it's always sort of, you know, evolving in the studio. It's never, there's never ever two that are the same. Textiles, fabrics, we sort of search them out through travels sort of around the world as I'm working. So here we're talking a lot about masquerade. So here we're hiding race, gender, class. So you're forced to look at the objects without judgment. If I'm doing a, a massive video project, this sort of extreme way of thinking and, and making the work. It's important for me to bring my studio staff there so they can sort of experience the other side of, of the way in which I'm thinking about my work. You know, I sort of am very interested in the sort of craft of my work and what is the appropriate process is that it takes to build a work. So it, it may be in wood, it may be in clay, it may be in cloth, but the craft for me 
really solidifies and sort of grounds the sort of fundamental ideas around construction and the ways of building. And it also speaks about this level of sort of commitment to quality and to the way in which I feel that the work has to be handled.